Hey guys, it is Mike from UyghurTech.com and today I am doing a video tutorial for Wild Academy subscribers. If you guys have not yet subscribed to Wild Academy, please do click that subscribe button right down below because I want you guys to have access to all of the amazing videos that Wild Academy does. They are great learning tutorial videos that cover a wide range of topics. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. But today, what I'm gonna be giving you guys is video number 10 of the Beginner GIMP tutorial series. And today, I'm gonna to be covering the Heal tool, which can be used in a lot of different ways, which I'm gonna show you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So obviously, we've got GIMP open here, and we're gonna open up a photo that maybe needs a little healing. And I'll show you why in a second. So I'm gonna open up this photo here. It's a very old photo of me when I was younger with my little sister there. And what you can see is you can I have a little you know a few blemishes here right on the forehead on the cheek a little bit and then down on the chin. Now the heel tool is really good for us beginner photo editors. A lot of us you know we just need to get in there real quick and maybe fix up a quick blemish or something that you know maybe we don't know how to do it all with the advanced techniques but we just need to do it really quick and the heel tool is amazing for that. So the heel tool I'm going to go over here and show you guys over in the toolbox it's the little two band-aids that make an X. Now what you would think when you click on this heal tool is that you can just go click on heal and just click on these spots and it'll fix it up. That's actually not the way the heal tool works in GIMP. What we need to do is you need to give it a source. We need to give it a place to pull from. That is what, you know, we want this to be fixed by this little area right here. And so the way you do that on a Mac, you are going to click hold down command on a Windows, I believe it's control. So I'm going to hold down command here. And you see that when I hold down command, I get a nice little crosshair section. And that's what we want. Now, when you guys are selecting the source, you really want to make sure that you get an area that is really close in color and really close, you know, with shine or not shine. You want to get as close as you can to exactly what you want. So you can see here that, you know, I'm going to be doing the forehead area, which, you know, it has a little bit more shine to it and also the chin, which does as well. So maybe I want a space right up here that looks okay, that doesn't have any blemish in it. And I think right there is going to be right where I want it. Now, I don't want to click over here in this shadowed area because I'm, I'm healing all of lit areas. Now, if I click over here, the color is going to be a darkened color when I heal it. So I'm going to go up here to right where the light is exactly where I want, and I'm going to click. I'm going to let go. So now we have the source selected. You can see it knows that is the source. So now when I go through, all I have to do is single click without holding any buttons, and it will fix them up. And I'll show you that. So I'm gonna, so as you can see, I got a little blemish right here. We're gonna click and it just went away. Single click again. And you can start to fix up this entire section right here. Now obviously this isn't gonna be a perfect blemish removal, but it does clear it up a little bit, especially if you have, so I have one big red spot kind of right on my cheek right there. I'm gonna click it and it's gone. And because you selected a source on your skin, it's kind of filling it with your same skin color, that same texture. So it's gonna look natural. It's not like painting over it with a different color. The heal tool is a really good tool to use for this exact use. So now we can even go down here and click on the chin a little bit. And you can notice because the chin was a little bit lighter in color, it's, it's making it a little darker, but that's okay. It still looks pretty natural, so I'm okay with it. You can see it fixed up those blemishes there on the chin. I'm going to go over here a little bit more on this cheek area. And there we go. You can start to see that it is fixing all of these areas. So I will go ahead and open up for you guys. You can do it a little side by side. So I'll pull this one over. And so you can start to see all this area right here, you know, where there's little blemishes and bumps really got smoothed out. I had one blemish right on this cheek here and it is gone over here. So it worked out really well, especially this chin. I really like smoothing out the chin area. It can be a little bit of a rough area for most people. And so when I'm going through and fixing these photos, I really like to focus on that chin. But that is the heel tool. I hope you guys can find a lot of different uses for it. And there's a lot, especially of uses, if you're doing even nature shots or photos of outside, you can use that heel tool to fix up little areas here and there. Um, especially with maybe like a bad autofocus or stuff like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video series. If you have not gone back and watched all the videos, go back and start at number one and just watch them through. 
kind of covered all the basics. It's, it was a tutorial series meant for beginners. So I hope you guys learned a lot of the tools and you guys can go out and start to explore on your own. And that's exactly what my intention was with this video series. So like I said, subscribe down below to Wild Academy. Just, they have amazing videos. You will learn a lot by watching all of them. And also, if you want to subscribe to me, there is a link below that goes to my channel. And over on my channel, you'll find some other tech tutorials, and you'll also find a weekly live tech show. It's called Open Mic Night, where I just give you guys kind of the latest in tech news that happened in the last week. So if you like me, if you like what I'm doing, go check out my channel and click on that link down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial series. But until I see you guys next time, tech on.